Uh, my name is Catherine Graham. I'm from Cap and Kerr County Offaly, just 25 minutes away from Cloncreen Wind Farm. I'm the Board of Mona site manager on the project. And my roles and responsibilities are basically to be the eyes and ears for Board of Mona on the ground. I would manage health and safety, quality and basic site works um, on a day-to-day -day basis with the contractors on site. I also am involved in the interfaces between Board of Mona operations on the site and also the other contractors uh, with one another. The main challenges that I've faced on Cloncreen in the last year and a half were originally when the project was due to start we were in the middle of level 5 restrictions for Covid and there was concern as to whether the project would start on time but thankfully because Cloncreen is a key strategic infrastructure project we were allowed to start on time. Another challenge I found was our components are being delivered to Foynes Port in County Limerick and the haul route from Foynes to site is over 250 kilometres long so as you can imagine we have a number of key stakeholders along that route and different statutory bodies to manage so it was challenging but thankfully we got the components to site in March of this year. My highlights on the project were firstly the first concrete pour which um, would have been completed in autumn of last year 2021. A lot of work went in before that was completed and to come in at half five that morning and finally see concrete pouring into that first base at Turbine One was great to see after all the work that had gone in. And then the other highlight I have, a lot of people would probably think the first turbine being erected, but for me it was the first component being delivered to site because of all the work that had gone in from both Farns, Vestas and HMV and Board of Mona to get that to site on the 3rd of March was unbelievable. My name is Fargal McYarden. I'm from County Tyrone. I'm the Vestas site manager. I uh, coordinate the delivery of components from Foynes Harbour to site on Cloncreen. I coordinate the installation activities with our subcontractors and I also coordinate the commissioning activities to bring the turbines online and producing electricity. The challenges on the project will be coordination of multiple subcontractors and different stakeholders. Directly working for Vestas we have about 50 people and um, then all of the other contractors that are working on site, electrical subcontractors and also uh, board pneumonia activities. Well, there's a lot of uh, calculation that goes into um, lifting such heavy components. So our heaviest component is over 70 tonnes. So lots of calculation is put into the lift plans and uh, uh, double checking with our uh, crane subcontractors. This site is selected because it has high winds, so lifting activities with wind speeds is definitely a challenge. So wind speeds need to be monitored at all times and we can only lift during certain weather windows where the wind is low. One big highlight is our installation last week. We installed four turbines in seven days. So you can see some of the, the four turbines that we built last week behind me. Yeah, so currently we have nine of the 21 turbines installed with blades. Uh, the first blade that's installed is always a big highlight and a relief that, that things are working as they should. So uh, that was probably one of the big highlights. Uh, hi, my name is Alan Houlihan. Uh, I'm from Adair in County Limerick and I, my role on Cloncreen Wind Farm was Electrical Site Manager for HNMV Engineering. My role as Site Manager on the Wind Farm was to oversee the building of the substation and the earthing of the turbines and to order materials and basically look after the, the substation during construction. Some of the challenges we faced on the wind farm was the roads in the wind farm. There was a, quite a distance from the main entrance to where we are. We're about five kilometres down into the, the wind farm. So that was a bit of a, a, an ordeal at times to, to get materials down. We were in the middle of a pandemic, so COVID did play a part. So we were under a tight schedule here and with the government guidelines and everything in place we had to make sure that everything was um, running smoothly while we had uh, everyone on site. Some of the highlights from the project were last December we had a big milestone in the project. We had the delivery of the main 110 kV transformer to site. It's quite a large uh, transformer, it's about 100 tonne in weight so logistics and everything getting it down the site it was quite difficult but it was a big milestone for the project. The milestone that we had was early this year and it was the complete handover for the TSO building on site 
uh, on time and ready for um, for ESB and air grid commissioning. My name is Thomas Murphy. I'm from Corn Road, outside Market Hill, County Armagh. I'm a general foreman for Farns, CRH company on Corn Queen Wind Farm. My role as general foreman was to conduct um, 20 bases, to, to achieve the mixture with dug safely, um, to manage subcontractors, to look after traffic on site, traffic management, make sure we complied with CRH 16 life saving rules. Our next milestone will be uh, the mat mast installing. Um, it will probably, probably take about four or five days. It's probably reach uh, 100 metres with a 100 tonne crane and hopefully we'll get that installed next week.